Hello heathens, it's Stu here, and today we're going to be talking about the satanic Christmas icon that is the Krampus. Now, the reason why I'm saying Krampus and not Krampus is because far from being British, it's actually from mainland Central Europe. It's believed it comes from an old German word, Klampen, which means claw. He is the antithesis of the gift-giving Saint Nicholas who of course inspired Santa Claus. He's often depicted with twigs to swat the naughty children with, and if you've been really naughty, he'll take you away in his knapsack to hell! He's also often depicted with chains thought to symbolise his binding by the Christian church. Today, the Krampus epicentre of the world is Austria, where it's seen as an important part of their cultural heritage. The main Krampus events are Krampuslauf, which means Krampus Parade. Says, but it's not just anyone in a costume who can join these parades. No, you have to be part of a registered Krampus troop. It's gotten to the point now where there's just so many Krampus troops, they actually have to put limits on, on how many troops can participate in any one parade. And with all of these different Krampus troops, of course, comes Krampus drama. Oh yes. So there's the traditional troops where the elders let the young ones borrow a mask and then they learn how to carve their own mask out of wood and it's like a way of connecting with your cultural heritage kind of thing. And then you've got these new troops who ruin Krampus Lauf by putting Krampus in his spaceship and giving him lightsabers and okay, I'm just kidding. All they're doing is putting LEDs in the eyes and making the masks out of modern materials. But apparently this is like a really big deal. So the traditionalists are like, they're not the real Krampus, we're the real Krampus. And then the modernists are like, okay, boomer, whatever. We're the future of Krampus, I think you'll find. Hashtag Krampus gatekeeping, hashtag Krampus drama. So you want to get your Krampus fix, there's got to be some Krampus movies, right? Well, there's no less than 10 Krampus movies. Yeah. So the first seven are low-budget, badly-rated movies, but hey, if you've got a fetish for that kind of thing, then... There's plenty to choose from. Krampus Origins, Krampus the Christmas Devil, Krampus the Reckoning, Krampus Unleashed, Krampus 2 The Devil Returns, Mother Krampus, Mother Krampus 2. Mother Krampus is actually less random than it sounds. It's based on the myth of Frau Perchta, the Christmas Witch. She would visit the misbehaving children at Christmas, slit open their bellies, pull out their guts, and fill them with stones and straw. Which apparently is a less popular story to tell little children at Christmas. Go figure. So there's three Krampus movies that I'd actually recommend. You've got Krampus Gets the Hollywood Treatment, Comedy Gore Krampus, and Film Buff Krampus. So the Hollywood Krampus is a proper switch your brain off story about a family who lose the Christmas spirit and then bad things start to happen. It's got Tony Collette in it, who is an icon, and a really cute little bulldog. So what more could you want? Plus it's on Netflix, so it's really easy to watch. So then there's Christmas, a horror story. It actually features four different stories intercut with each other, with William Shatner, of all people, narrating. So there's a story of a family that starts off quite boring, but then gets genuinely chilling. A rather meh story about some students going and doing a report in an underground basement type place. But the best story by far has got to be The Santa's Grotto Meets the Evil Dead. It's brilliant. Check out this clip, and just to warn you, this is gory. I'm sorry, Shiny. I know it isn't your fault. You don't have the Christmas bones, you fucking And it only gets better from there. But you might be wondering, well, where's Krampus? The Krampus story. <laughs> the actors have clearly gone to the Shatner School of Acting, because they are... <laughs> I mean, the acting is so bad, it's good. It's a proper so bad, it's good story. Plus, Krampus has been working out. He is ripped, and I'm all for that. 
And finally, we have the film buff film, Rare Exports. If you're the kind of person that likes to watch films rather than movies, then this is the one for you. So they never actually use the word Krampus, but at the start, you see pictures of Santa Claus with horns beating children with sticks. It's very clearly based on Krampus. So it starts off with quite a typical kind of, they unearthed it from the ice and then bad things start to happen. And you go, oh, okay, I know where this is going. Um, and then it gets weird, like really weird like you you will not guess the ending <laughs> it's very very strange just a warning though it is in finnish which means yes you're gonna have to watch it with subtitles and as someone who used to work at blockbuster video a long time ago some people have a really some people return films if we don't tell them at the tail point that that it's subtitled yep mate it's like reading a book it's really not, you know, I mean, there's there's sound, and there's moving images, and it's, it's only an hour and a half, and I mean, anyway. And finally, a quick shout out to the really awesome documentary, Bruce Von Krampus, which if you love documentaries, it's really good, won loads of awards, and frankly, a lot of this video is based on it. <laughs> so Merry Christmas to you all, but beware little children, for the Krampus is coming for you.